Hello and welcome to this video covering the innovation of the intrinsic muscles of the larynx. Let's start with the relevant anatomy. We have the hyoid bone at the top coloured in, in a kind of gold colour. We have in blue the thyroid cartilage, we have the cricoid cartilage as well and we also have the trachea. There's a membrane that stretches between the hyoid bone and the thyroid cartilage called the thyrohyoid membrane. So we can't see the vocal cords inside or the vocal folds, but they're in there. And we're going to talk about the innovation to some of the muscles that move the vocal cords. And we can summarize that by saying that in actual fact, all of the innovation to the vocal cords is from the vagus nerve, but it's from a number of different branches. First of all, let's just cover the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is on the left and the right side of the neck, and the fibers here originate from the inferior vagal ganglia, high up in the neck on each side, and they descend the vagus nerves medial to the internal carotid artery and divide into a couple of branches. So first of all, we've got the recurrent laryngeal nerves, which are branches of the vagus, and we have one of those on the left and the right side. It's worth bearing in mind that they have slightly different courses on the left and the right side, with the left one dipping down lower around the arch of the aorta, while on the right side, the recurrent laryngeal nerve comes around the subclavian artery. The other major nerve here is the superior laryngeal nerve. So the two main nerves, the recurrent laryngeal nerves and the superior laryngeal nerves. Now the superior laryngeal nerve divides into two further branches the internal branch and the external branch. So in summary, we have two branches that supplies the intrinsic muscles of the larynx, the recurrent laryngeal nerves, the superior laryngeal nerve, which is further divided into an internal branch and an external branch. So how does the innovation work then? Well, let's take a look now at the functions of each of these. We're going to start off by talking about the external branch of the superior laryngeal nerve. Now this supplies the cricothyroid muscle only. So it only supplies one muscle, it's motor to the cricothyroid muscle. The internal branch of the superior laryngeal nerve is mainly sensory and it supplies sensory innovation to above the vocal folds. So its main job is sensory to areas of the larynx above the vocal folds. Let's move on now and talk about the innovation of the recurrent laryngeal nerve, the other main nerve here involved in the innovation of the intrinsic muscles of the larynx. The recurrent laryngeal nerve on each side runs in the tracheoesophageal groove and runs all the way up each side of the trachea in order to penetrate deep inside the larynx to supply all of the muscles in there except for the cricothyroid muscle which is of course supplied by the external branch of the superior laryngeal nerve. It also has a sensory function being sensory to below the level of the vocal folds so a dual role there for the recurrent laryngeal nerve it has a sensory function below the folds, but it also innervates all of the muscles except for cricothyroid. Subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.